Hi folks, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with the flow analysis and we would like to analyze the internal flow. And we will do it on the standard model and over here I create for you the section. So really easy, we can say from the right side, we will go through with water in the 3.5 bar and as the output will be one bar as the atmosphere bar yeah so let's see what will be result and outcome outcome and how it works so simply and easily you can create your custom assembly and include model or models yeah so you will prepare your assembly and then directly in the application flow analysis if you will hit the button the system read the license for you and if you will select the wizard the system will ask for you to create new project, so you are able to specify the project. Also, you can work with simplify representation and so on, and confirm OK. When you confirm OK, the system will start the wizard, and in the wizard, you can specify all necessary steps for the calculation of the flow analysis. What does it mean? We are able to hit the next button, and over here in this license, I am able to work with the flow, turbulence, heat, or the streamline. For this example, I would like to show you how to work and calculate the internal flows. So I will select the flow and confirm next. And now we are able to specify if we would like to include gravity, yes or no. So for now, we don't need to include the gravity. Simple confirm next. And now I have spoken to you that we would like to include the necessary calculation. So what does it mean? Yes, of course, I would like to apply fluid domains. And now the section of the system asks me if it will be internal or external or both. For now, I'd like to focus on the internal. And directly then the system automatically pre-select the necessary surfaces when and how the you can see the domain is internal and we have a necessary preparation here in the seat surfaces we do not have no seat surfaces and in openings we have a two faces yeah and then also specified hole so if you will set a reference you can double check what the system predefined for you if you have a more complex model or assembly you can select more faces also the system need to use the whole reference so as you can see the pre-selection ha has been made automatically if you would like to see the result what will be there you can select check the leaks and the system will show you the necessary result and you can confirm then we are able to push the button next. As you can see, the system asked me for the material and density, so we are able to specify the add function, and the system asked me for the selection of the just created uh, surfaces. So only select and middle button for confirmation and system will apply necessary domain as the fluid body. The question is what the material will be there. So you can use the drop down menu and from the menu you are able to specify the predefined materials or you can create your custom one. So I will select that we will work with the water and also density for now will be constant density. You can use the drop down menu also and specify the another type of the density. When all necessary information are set, we can continue with the next button. And now the system asks me about the inlet and outlet boundaries. What does it mean? What are the inputs and outputs necessary parameters? So yes, I would like to use the inlet boundaries. And now as the system defined for me that something is the fluid body, yeah, it's everything, and something is the inlet and something is out better like the default names i like to use the function rename so simple rename and you can use your custom names yeah so i will choose this one that is the in this one will be out so we can use the 
name as the outlet and will be fine. So for the better information and selection, it's based on the names, yeah, for complicated shape. Everything is defined. We can hit the button next. And now the system asks me about the velocity or the, the we can say the set flow parameters. So what does it mean? What we would like to do, I'd like to specify the pressure inlet and the value will be, as I mentioned, 3.4 bar. So we can simply to say it, it's a 300,000 pascals. Yeah. Also in the drop down menu, you can choose the different, the pressure parameter values and specify it. If you have the velocity optional, you can specify also X, Y, Z direction. For now, we do not have this information. We have only standard quantum pressure. We can confirm next. And outlet, yes, of course, I'd like to define, so I will select outlet, confirm next. And as I mentioned, it will be standard pressure. So we will specify it 0, 01, 325 pascals. Yeah, and also the backflow velocity can be set as you want. So also you can specify some X, Y, Z dimension for the velocity if you have. I'd like to confirm next button. And the system asked me if I would like to add some additional boundary condition. No, I don't need to add the additional information. Also, do you, if you would like to set any volume parameters, not yet. If you would like to see no more, something more about the flow analysis wizard, you are able to select and hit the button as the help and system will show you more details information. Yeah, this is the quick tutorial how to use the flow analysis. So I don't want to really focus on every single point. Also, when we will do with the, the calculations, we can say that we, if we are time dependent or independent, as you can see that over here is also some description. So st steady, the uh, problem is time independent. And if we will select the transient, it will be time dependent simulation. So it's also up to you what you would like to calculate and results. And you can change the number of iteration or additional parameters. If I will hit the button next, we are able to set the mesh parameters. And again, you are able to calculate convergence, step size, and all other information. Also, it's a really good if you use the help for more details information. When we will come from next button, the system will continue with the tessellation and setting the all additional attributes. So simple, you can use the default if you are new. If you will be more experienced, you can change the maximum cell size and the calculation will be more accurate. Yeah, so you can come from also next button. And if you would like to specify zone parameters, also you can specify all these necessary things. Directly, the system asked me if you would like to create a mesh. Yes, of course, we would like to do it. Come from OK. And when system will calculate the all necessary things, you are able to define the output type. So as you can see, you can define the volume and during the volume, you are ready to calculate density or conductivity. If you specify the results of output as boundaries, for example, you can calculate and make a measurement of the mass flux, velocity, heat, and so on. And also the additional description are below for the points and modules. We will specify the boundaries and we will hit the button next. And the system will ask me for the output parameter settings. So it's again good that we change the name because directly we know which side is the out, outlet side or output side. So we will use the outlet surface and we will hit the button next. Then also we can make the different, the boundary outlet parameters and calculations. So for example, we would like to focus for now volumetric flow rate. And also you can see that you can focus on the pressure, pressure force, total pressure and all other necessary calculations. When we will hit the button next, the system would like to create for us the necessary XY output. So 
and plotting so we can create a new one and really confirm finish. Yes, of course, we would like to run simulation. And as you can see, the system will show you the calculation online and all measurements are changed and apply in the plot area. Simulation is OK and complete. You can confirm. And when we would like to make some additional uh, visualization, we can move it a little bit. I have made some spinning of orientation of the model. And for example, we can speak about the XY plot panel. So the system is able to show you the pressure and velocity. And also you can see the all additional information. So for example, you can see and change the some parameters and attributes and values. If you are more interested into ISA surfaces, you can specify the ISA surface and also in the drop down menu, the system will show you, for example, that you would like to see the pressure as the flow. And then also you can change the visibility as the single value and the system will show you the ISA surfaces for the single values, or you can specify it and see the additional. Yeah, so it's up to you what you will select. Always over there is the drop down menu and you can choose the type of the visualization and system will show you all necessary attributes. In this video tutorial, you have seen how to understand the flow analysis wizard, quick understanding what is the fluid domain or how to specify the inlet and outlet information and also how to understand and visualize the direct object. Yeah? So for example, if we would like to see the cat bodies or additional information from the menu for the flow analysis. Thanks for your watching and also from the question for the questions. Take care and bye bye. Vladimir.